Hey everyone, welcome to this um, <clears throat> final exam preparation. So make sure that you are paying close attention in order for you to understand what is happening for you to do well on this final, right? So in this final, we're talking about percentage. So percentage is pretty much when you calculate something out of 100, right? Just makes things easier to calculate something out of 100. Uh, a percentage is a part of a whole right? as well. So the way we figure out percentage is we divide the part divided by the whole and then we multiply times 100 and that'll give you the percent of something, right? So in this first example here, it says in, B in Bungalow 29, there are 12 people. Two people are over 21 years of age. What percentage of people are under 21 years of age? Well, if two are over 21, the number that means the rest are under, so that's 10. So 10 out of 12 people, 10 divided by 2 times 100 gives you 83%. So 83% of people in Bungalow 29 are under 21 years of age. Okay, number two, there are 2,000 students enrolled, 1,000 are male. What percentage of students are female? So I'm sure you notice that a thousand is half of two thousand, right? So automatically you knew, oh, it's fifty percent, it's half, which is correct. But mathematically as well, it works. A thousand divided by two thousand times a hundred is equal to fifty percent. So let's take a look at these examples from a table. So it says, what percent of people with a high school degree are in their 30s and 40s? So people with a high school degree, okay? So people with a high school degree, total people is 5719, are in their 30s and 40s. So 30s and 40s, that means it's these two. So. We take these two numbers. Let me change the color here. We take these two numbers and we are going to add them. And we divide by the total. 5719 times 100 gives you 43%. Right? All right, second example. Let's clear these out. Second example says. What percent of people have a degree higher than some college? Now, if you notice, this one says, what percent of people with a high school degree, right? So it's talking about specifically these people. This number three, this is what percent of people have a, a degree higher than some college, right? What percent of people have a degree higher than some college? So it's only one condition. So that means that it's from the town. The town is going to be the number. So what percent of people have a, de have a degree higher than some college? When higher than some college, it's bachelor's degree, which is a total of 5612, and master's degree, which is a total of 3126. So we are going to add these two numbers. And we're going to divide by set 2778, which is what we did here. Add the two numbers, divide by 202078 20, times 100 will give you 42%. All right. So let's take a look here at the example questions. So this first example, this first question says, what percent of people have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree bachelor's or master's okay bachelor's or master's 55 15 and 1612 we add those two and we divide by the total number of people in town right so let me show you what that looks like in the calculator so when we add you enter it like this see 55, 12 plus, uh, 15 plus 16, 12 divided by 16, 24 times 100 is 43.9. Rounding to the nearest percent, 
the nine pushes pushes the three to a 44, right? Which is 44%, right there, perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at number two. Let's clear out this. Okay, number two says, what percentage of people have high school only? Okay, only one condition, high school only, which is 4307, out of the total town, 4307 divided by 16224, 16224 is equal to 27%, right? I'll show you what that looks like, see? Round to the nearest percent, the five is gonna push the six to a seven, so that's how we get 27%, right? All right. Number three. Number three says, what percentage of people that are in their 20s? That are in their 20s. So this is something that I want you to please special close attention to. That are in their 20s. That's the first condition. Have a master's degree. That's the second condition, All right? So, let's see. People that are in their 20s, total of 4814, and have a master's degree, 277. The smaller number divided by the larger number, All right? There's number three, 277, divided by 4814, times 100, is 6%, okay? Here we go, 277 divided by 4814 times 100. The five pushes the seven, I'm at the seven. This seven pushes the five to a six, which is 6%, right there. There you go. So be careful, right? Be careful with these problems that have two conditions, all right? All right, number... Seven, uh, five, right? We're number five. Yeah, we're number five. Okay, so let's see what number five says. What percentage of people are in their twenties and thirties? Right. What percentage of people are in their twenties and thirties? So, twenties. Total amount of people is forty-eight, fourteen. Thirties, twenty-eight, fifty-three. Only one condition. Out of. 16 to 24. So we add those two over 16 to 24. So we add the two numbers over 16 to 24 times 100. Uh, where are we? Here, we're on number, you skip number four, okay? That was number five. That was number five, 4814 plus 2853 is divided by 16224. There you go, that one right there, right? We round to the nearest percent. The two keeps the seven a seven. So we are left with 47%, right? So let's do number four here. Let's skip number four. So number four says, what percentage of people that have some college are 50 and older? So again, two conditions. What percentage of people that have some college are over 50? So have some college Total is 47.90, or over 50 is 1035. So 1035 divided by 47.90, right? 1035 divided by 47.90 times 100, 22%. Let's take a look at that. So we finish with that one. 1035 divided by 47.90 is 
the 6 pushes the 1 to a 2. So we get 22%. There you go. We did number 5. Let's take a look at number 6. Okay. Number 6 says, What percentage of people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s? Look at that. People in their 20s, 30s, and 40s have a bachelor's degree. Okay? So people's in, people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. So that means that it's all of these people. And these are all the totals. Have a bachelor's degree. So bachelor's degree would be this one. And this is this amount of people. So we're going to add these three numbers for the top. And these three number totals for the bottom. All right. There they are. Okay. Three three numbers up top plus over the addition of those three numbers on the bottom times a hundred gives you thirty-six percent. Let's take a look in the calculator. There they are. Look at that. Three numbers divided by over three numbers gives you the 6 pushes the 5 to a 6, which makes it 36%. There it is. Look at that. Okay. Number 7. Let's see. What percentage of people with a high school only or some college? Okay. What percentage of people with high school only or some college? Condition number one, are over 40 years old. Okay, let's take a look. What percentage of people with high school only or some college? So, high school only, some college. These are the two totals. All right. Are... Uh, uh, are over 40 years old. So over 40 is these two. So that means that over 40 would be these two and over 40 some college would be these two. So we would add kiddos all four of these numbers for the top and these two since it's the totals for the bottom. So let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. Four numbers up top. Add them up, the sum. Two numbers on the bottom, the sum. Times 100 is equal to 56%. So let's take a look at what that looks like on the calculator. Look at that. Four numbers up top, two numbers on the bottom. The five pushes this five to a six. So we are left with 56% right there. Look at that. Finally, the last one. Now, the last one is a trick question. The last one says, let's take a look. Okay. What percentage of people have degrees in high school, have some college, a bachelor's degree, or a master's degree? Okay. So let's take a look at our chart here. Okay, have high some high school, it said, some college, bachelor's degree, or a master's degree. All right. So it's all of these. And this is the totals. And what happens when you add all of these numbers up? You get that. So it's all the people. All right? So all of this is going to equal this. So it's 100%, right? But here it is written out, right? See, those four numbers over the total times 100 is 100%. And again, let me show you what that looks like on the calculator, right? You get 100%. So be careful with how you read the questions and how the questions are written, all right? So good luck on the final. Ask any clarifying questions if necessary. And